Good morning, beautiful people of the internet. My name is Murray, also known as the Resale Redneck. Welcome back to the channel. Uh, yesterday's video was a little, I don't know, it may have been boring. Oh. Oh. Um, I think these videos were more for me than you guys right now because I'm just trying to stay motivated and consistent. But we did great. So we got all of this organized in yesterday's video. We got five items photographed and listed. Uh, we sourced 13 or 14 items technically through a reseller lot, which I'm excited about. Um, one of the items that I listed a few days ago was a, my first was my first pair of blue jeans, and they've got people watching them already on on eBay. So that's exciting. I will say that I woke up this morning, so my my sales had been a little down. Um, but even having people view and watch my items had been down. But now two days, two days of consistent listing. I woke up this morning and I had, I think, two offers to send out. I also made a sale overnight. So we're going to pull that today. And then we're going to look at what items we're going we're gonna to pick out and photograph. I'm going to take you guys with me in that today, show you what we'll photograph, what we'll list. We are going to get out and do some sourcing today. We're also going to start working on filling up these death pile boxes so that we can know what we need to get listed. So today's going to be a little bit more exciting. You guys come along. Let's do some reselling. So the first thing we'll do today is go ahead and pull the item that's sold. I believe it's in this top drawer. Yep, it's right here. Had this for a little while. This is a weird time for it to sell. Let me get it where I can lay it out and show you guys. But it is this beautiful, nice OSU jacket. Uh, but sold to a guy in Oklahoma. They, uh, I picked it up for like two dollars. And I took an offer, I had it listed for 24 and I took an offer for 18 plus shipping. So I'll take that to start the day out. Okay, so we got it packaged up in a nice big Mahler bag. Um, guys, I cannot over express how awesome my Rolo printer is. Even for being a part-time reseller, I wish I would have bought that thing so much sooner. I know there's different arguments about which ones you can use, Dymo or or whatever the other one is, but I, this is the simplest, absolute, probably greatest investment in my resale business. It just makes things so easy. So we're gonna jump on here, get this label printed out, and then we will, uh, yeah, get it taken to the post office. Okay, so we have that item packaged up, labels on it, ready to ship. Good morning, Runa. All right, next thing we're going to do is we are going to go, we're going to pick a tub. Um, let's see what this tub is. So I've got to get labels on these tubs because <laughs> I packaged them, but I don't run there. Okay, so this is bags. I think this is where we're going to start today. We're going to start in the bags because I think I have a lot of nicer leather bags in here that are not listed. Um, so we're going to go ahead and get those pulled out. We're going to put everything in the death pile box that comes from this bag. And then this will be where we probably list all five of our items of the day from. So let's, let me get set up and I'll show you guys what we have. We're good. All right guys, so change of plans. We are deciding to hit the gym real quick because I like to get my day started out right. So let's go get a workout in and then go do some sourcing. All right guys, so just finished the workout. It was a great workout. <clears throat> it is not a beautiful day today, but that's okay because um, we're going to hit up some thrift stores and see if we can find anything to source to flip today. Tomorrow, it is supposed to be much nicer, and I'm glad about that because I'm hoping they didn't cancel due to rain today, but there's supposed to be a big flea market going on about 30 minutes from our house tomorrow. So we're going to try to hit that up tomorrow and source as well. So we will be recording day four of this consistency vlog tomorrow. But for today, let's go hit up a couple of stores, see if we can find anything that's worth flipping. Again, we got to find at least five items today that we can absolutely add to our inventory, get photographed, listed, and flip. Let's go. Well, our first stop was a strikeout. It's a thrift store that I don't usually do very well at anyway. From Progressive. And buy more. Fix that. So now we're going to head to a different thrift store and see if we can have a little bit better luck. Let's go. 
So real quick, I want to point out something about my local Goodwills. I don't know how this is everywhere else, but man, it is getting almost impossible to buy anything at Goodwill. So I went to look for some jeans and I looked at these. So I got these Levi's, these 501s here, and you'll see they want $12.99 for those, which you could say is not terrible. But then like these, these small BKEs, 2732s, they want $15 for right next to those. I thought about getting these Hollisters, new with tags, but 15 bucks, I mean... They're, they're asking crazy prices. So tell me if your Goodwills are just getting absolutely unshoppable for resale. And let me know what you guys think. Here, another Levi's, they want a little bit better price, but they're not in great condition. So let me know what's happening where you guys are. Okay, so finally hit something, scored a little bit. Uh, didn't get to record inside this thrift store there. They got to sign up, no recording, yada, yada, whatever. Um, but getting out of my comfort zone, I picked up a pair of, and I'll show these better when I get home, but they're Tacovas, um, and I paid paid up a little bit for them. Paid ten dollars and eighty two cents. But I would say this was a Bolo brand because looking at sold comps, they're anywhere from thirty to forty five dollars. Even some sold for fifty for pre owned Tacova blue jeans. These are great condition. They're a good size. They're uh, thirty six, thirty twos, I think. And so yeah, we're gonna give them a chance. But that means four more items to go. We only have one more thrift store to hit right now. I'm kind of playing this in two ways. So number one, like I talked about, I did actually buy 13 items in a reseller's lot. So that will technically help offset if I can't find anything else today. And then I talked to my wife. I think instead of the flea market tomorrow, because it's looking like they may cancel because of all the rain, I think we're going to head to our east uh, over to Shreveport, Louisiana, and hit up their bins, Goodwills, thrift stores over there, and really try to make up for today and then really just kind of build some inventory as well always building inventory when we go to the bins so uh yeah we're gonna head to the next thrift store and see what we can find well guys last store was unfortunately another bust it's just not a great day today i suppose i mean we did find the one item that's gonna do good i feel like and again not gonna punish myself too hard for not being able to get the five items today we picked up one item but again, I've got 14 items coming from that reseller lot. So that just about, with this one item, covers three days worth of uh, sourcing. So we're good there. And again, like I said, tomorrow we're going to hit up the bins. We're going to hit up some stores in a much bigger city, Shreveport, Louisiana. And so no doubt I will find some stuff to add to inventory tomorrow. But now let's go back home. Let's pick out some items to get photographed and listed. All right, here's a better look at the Tacovas. Again, 3632. Standard fit, medium blue. And just some normal Western jeans. We're gonna get those photographed and listed. All right, so we got our box open here. And I think we're gonna do bags today. So I'm thinking we're gonna list this Joe Boxer bag. Hold on. All right. This uh, Aguirre shoulder bag. We'll get those two listed. Um, probably go ahead and list this new with tags. Titleist LSU hat uh, beanie. We'll save that for another day. This needs to be cleaned. There was a this bag. My wife wanted me to list this one. So this is a leather bag we got at the bins let me see if there's a tag i don't think there's a tag on this but this is a leather bag so we'll get oh here it is right here yes it is it's a lucky brand so we'll get that one listed as well and that will give us our five items for the day well guys we did it my hair is a mess because it's been another crazy day running around doing all kind of things but we pulled it off, we got all five items listed. We were up to 130 items uh, listed on eBay right now. We were at 126, sold an item, got us to 125 and listed five today. So tomorrow's video should be an exciting one because we are heading to the Goodwill bins and thrift stores in Shreveport. So you guys look forward to that one. As always guys, thanks for watching. God bless you and we'll see you in the next video.